What is up guys, OG Scrapyard here, or Orbify from the Hack Forums, but today I'm going to be showing you guys a pretty sick text tutorial using the Cinema 4D plugin Nitro Blast. So before anything happens, download whatever I provided you guys in the description if you want to make it look exactly like my text, download the Lightroom and the materials, but um, here's a preview of what we're going to be making. This is pretty much a Nitro Blast effect, that's all you need is Nitro Blast, so Make sure you have that plug in before you start getting in depth with this video so you don't have to stop and download it later. But um, yeah, I'm going to provide you guys with all these materials. Unless you want to use your own materials, that's also fine. But yeah, um, first you want to open up Cinema 4D. And uh, oh, huh, well, my old text was still there. Uh, you want to go to MoGraph, MoText, and you want to bring it over some and change it to whatever you like. I'm just going to be changing mine to Orbify. Um, I'm actually going to use this uh, uh, 3D text for my new uh, market style GFX thread for the hack forums. I got a lot of hate on my last thread and that's because I only spent like 15 minutes putting it apart. I, I, I don't um, blame you guys for complaining. It did look a little bit unprofessional but I will fix that um, with my new thread. I didn't really spend that much time on it. I'm sorry, guys. Um, yeah, um, once you get a position, once you get your text out there, position it kind of like I did by just going right here uh, to the circular arrows and just, you know, bring it down some. Once you bring it down some, go to your font and find a good font that you're going to be using, but the font I'm going to be using um, is called Bombarder there we are yeah bombarder you can get that off of uh, dafont.com and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and center it and I'm gonna bring up the depth uh, to about 45 there we go and then I'm gonna go to caps fillet cap fillet cap and then I'm gonna bring the radius down on uh, both of them to two like so and I will provide these materials uh, to you guys. Um, these Moonzy made these materials, so yeah, I will credit him in the description. Um, you want to drag on the uh, kind of like the uh, broken, I don't know, concrete one, and then you want to click on it, the material, and then you want to go to projection, and you want to put it to cubic. And there we go, guys. And then after that's done, you want to click on the text control C control V which will duplicate the text and then you want to hold alt and then you want to go right here and then atom array and then once you do that you want to go to cylinder radius well I'm just gonna start out on spear radius and put 0 0.8 and the other one should automatically change there we go and then you want to drag on this atom array material right there onto atom array and this pretty much gives it the outline then you want to go back right here to MoText and you want to control C control V again and then here's where you're gonna need Nitro Blast plugins Nitro Blast Nitro Blast main pieces I'm gonna put about 98 and if you just now installed this uh, Cinema 4D plugin uh, I recommend you saving before you actually start fracturing when it, before you hit fracture because you it will crash sometimes um, whenever you first install it and first use it but yeah, that's just a heads up, so go ahead and save. And thickness, I'm going to go ahead and put to 2. And uh, yeah, let's fracture. This shouldn't take that long, guys. It's breaking down there. There we are, it's done. Um, so go ahead and exit out of Nitro Blast. It's going to give you a yellow and blue material. Just ignore those. Go right here into uh, MoText and open it up and see how it's got the yellow type of feel to it you don't want that you want to go ahead and switch it out with um this i don't know this kind of like lava material so yeah just go ahead and do that over each one there you go now once you do that oh and i forgot the other two my b my b guys 
and there we go so once you do that you want to open up each letter um, open up the Y well before we do that go to MoGraph Effector or no MoGraph Fracture there we go sorry about that guys and then go to each little nitro blast go into main pieces and then go into dynamic and then pretty much click on the bottom piece and then shift click on piece zero and just drag it into fracture and yeah and then you want to go to you want to do this for every single one this is a little bit time consuming but perfection is the key here guys and there we go and minimize that one out main pieces dynamic on that shift click on that then drag it then minimize out of that one and then this is the last one and uh, there we go we're done so once you do that, you want to click on Fracture, and you're pretty much going to see the outline of the broken parts. Click on Fracture, hold Alt, MoGraph, Effector, and then Random. There you go. This pretty much breaks it all up. Then you want to go to the Strength, kind of put the Strength to how you want it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put mine to, I don't know, about... Mm, about 16 it does depend on what font you're using but yeah then you and then you want to go to motext again then control C control V duplicate it again and then plugins nitro blast nitro blast main this time you're gonna be doing uh, quality high pieces 300 and then keep the thickness at zero and then fracture I will come back when this is done guys, this is going to take about a minute or two, but yeah. Alright guys, as you guys can see, it's pretty much done, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, exit right out of there. And then pretty much the same process, um, and you're going to see this little uh, yellow thing right there. You're going to want to go and replace that. Ba -da -ba. I don't know why guys, but uh it does that all the time, so you're gonna have to bear ooh, wrong thing. Uh I'm gonna go ahead and delete all these uh I don't know, concrete textures by clicking on that one and then shift clicking on the top one and delete. And then once you do that, you're gonna want to go to the same pretty the same process, you wanna go to MoGraph, then you wanna go to fracture, and then drag all of the main pieces inside the fracture again and there's going to be way more pieces than uh, what it was last time there we go minimize that and you and uh, once you uh once you throw the pieces in you could delete the nitro blast y once you get done putting the pieces in the fracture I don't know why I just choose to keep it there. But yeah. This one has 299 pieces. Well, 98. It says I had 99. I don't know why. There we go. And off oh, up. Put it right there. There we go. Almost done, guys. But trust me, this is a really sick text. You can use this on banners, backgrounds, uh, pretty much anything you wish to. Um, I'm going to be using this on my uh, next market style thread. I did a uh, text just like this for my banner, but it said scrap instead of orbify. I don't know, pretty sick. Oh, shit. A little bit up more. There we go. And fracture. There we go. And pretty much the same process. Click on fracture. 
and then go to MoGraph and then Effector and then Random. There you go, you're gonna get all of these little pieces pretty much going everywhere. Bring down the uh I don't know, the strength some. It may be a little laggy on your computer because of how much it is. And you're gonna want to click on random and fracture, and then you're gonna go to Alt G to group it. Um, and if you guys didn't know what I did, I clicked on one of them and then shift clicked on the other one or control click. And then once you did one of those, or once you uh, grouped it, bring it back just a tad bit because that is a little bit too much. And there you go, guys. It's pretty much what it looks like. Let me see if I can render it out here. And it shouldn't take that long. Come on, come on, computer. It's taking a little while. Oh, there we go. You can see, kind of see the look. I don't know, guys. I don't know what you guys think, but I think this is pretty sick. Um, but yeah. Uh, if you guys want me to do a certain type of tutorial or link me to a picture and of somebody's background, maybe I can do a tutorial on how to create that text. Um, but yeah, guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to make next for you guys. Um, but yeah, um, just keep subscribed to my channel and looking at my videos, uh, coming to my channel every so often. But yeah, guys, until next tutorial, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.